What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Luck Fitness here and you're joining me today in sunny Barbados. No, I'm just kidding, we're in High Wycombe. So today's a shoulder and triceps workout and I'm currently on the phone to my mum in my ear so she's listening to the intro of this one. And we have eaten just the tuna crunch baguette that you just saw from Greg's. Got it with a, a latte as we say down in the Wycombe area. So we're going to join you in the gym and we'll start the workout. I have to actually have my pre-workout manually with a scoop of pre-workout straight into the mouth because I forgot my shaker and everything. Just got my Sainsbury's bag with the camera in and uh, the pre-workout itself. So we just got it at Budgeons next to the gym which is Gym Fit for Less. I don't know if anyone goes there but I wouldn't advise having hot food from that hot food counter thing. I just saw the guy who's clearly obese, not hating on him or anything but he's clearly obese and he's eating the butter off his fingers and then touching the cobs to make more cobs. Like putting the ingredients inside it and then putting it like licking his fingers, so that's disgusting, mate. So, as you can see, guys, we've got the pre workout here, but all we've got is this. We don't really have anything to shake it with or anything. So, what we're gonna have to do is we can tip this down our throat and drink it. It's the only way we can really consume this pre. So the so, pink lemonade flavour, optimal nutrition, two servings in there. So in theory, you're using your head as a shaker cup. Shaker cup. <laughs> so let's get on with this workout, guys. Yo, yo, yo. We're starting this workout off with dumbbell shoulder press. All right, on this, I'm actually using 34 kg, which isn't exactly impressive or anything. The best I've done for a set of 10 is like 40, 44s or something like that. But honestly, my strength is down so much. So I did two sets of 34 kilograms, then actually dropped it to 30 kilograms just to get the, the last two sets of 10. But like I said before, and it makes sense, if we're gonna go for 10 reps, get 10 reps. All right, second up, we got, <laughs> look how fast that is. <laughs> Front raises. So I only do quite a lot on this 10 kilograms, four times 10. I like to twist it at the top, as you can see. And I'm actually not doing it that fast. I've speeded the video up as it would be very, very boring. <laughs> but yeah, I think on this, using a lighter weight and like getting that contraction and really controlling the weight benefits me so much more than like, oh, cheeky little <laughs> pec mounts there. <laughs> All right, third exercise, we've got the side lateral raises. So this is it in our medial delt and this is like the part that I have problems with. You can see that I'm grimacing a bit. This is like, uh, it, it does hurt, it's like a pinching feeling, it's definitely not my rotator cuff, it's, it is my medial delt but we're leaning slightly, I don't know if you can see it, and holding on and controlling the weight. Alright, fourth exercise, we've got face pulls. Um, oh yeah, on the lateral raise I did 8kg, 4 times 10 On this I'm doing 32 kilograms, 4 times 10 I like to get a squeeze at the top, just there, hold for a second and back down. One more exercise to go on, on the shoulder workout, which is Arnold press. Not exactly looking forward to it, my right shoulder's playing up a little bit, it always does. Medial delt on the side raise always plays up, so one more, we'll see how it goes. And then we're moving on to the triceps, which I am looking forward to. Alright, moving into the last shoulder exercise, and you might think this is a weird one to put at the end, but I actually put it at the end as it's a challenging exercise and it's not what you're used to doing. You're probably used to doing an easy exercise at the end, such as a front raise or a face pull. It is an easier exercise. This is a more demanding exercise, it's recruiting more muscle groups. So I like to put it at the end, like on some of the back workouts that I've done, I like to put pull-ups at the end. Like it's, it's just adding that extra challenge to it. So I did 20 kilograms two times 10 and then I dropped it to 16 kilograms two times 10. Really concentrating on the form, trying not to like mess my shoulders up. That shoulder's done. Not too bad there. Did have to drop the weight on the Arnold press, but I'll tell you all the results after like always. Moving on to triceps first, uh, we've got dips. If I can get it. All right, the good old tricep dips. We all like a dip. So on this, as you can see, my legs are behind me crossed over. 
Last time I did dips was on a chest day and my legs were in front of me, so I'd like to change it up, you know what I mean? It's really good to change the form up. All right, moving on to rope extensions. I'm doing this on the lat pull then just because it feels so much smoother in this gym. We're doing 15 kilograms here, four sets of 10. And as you can see, we're concentrating. I'm, I'm concentrating on the form, but I'm probably splitting the rope just a little too much at the bottom there. So it's something I can change. All right, next up, double hand reverse grip tricep push down, 20 kilograms, four times 10. Again, doing it on the old lap pull down. Um, it looks like I'm bopping, but I'm just soft on my knees, trying to protect my knees the best I can. All right, last step, tricep exercise. We've got the dumbbell French press, 14 kilograms, four times 10. So the guy jogging next to me there, mate. He puts in the work, he does. Every, between every set, he's like jogging, active recovery. It's really good to see, man. So 14 kilograms, yeah. Uh, elbows flaring out a little bit, but it's kind of like feels more like the natural movement for me. Remember, it's got to be functional. You don't want to mess your joints up. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this. I hope you like the voiceover. We've just finished our shoulders and tricep session. Really good session, to be fair. Got a good pump. Only problem is my right shoulder, medial delt. Always plays up. It's not my rotator cuff. It is actually my medial delt. So we're going to go back now. Potential physique update. Definitely going to get some sun on the old skin. So I might do a physique update outside. I think I'm about 8 to 4 kilograms at the moment. But to be fair, I'm extremely undercarbed as yesterday was really bad because Sainsbury's was shut. We didn't actually go to the cinema, we went to Nando's instead. I uh, just had a small little meal there. So we'll go home there and we'll see you there. The shops are open today so we can get some good food in. Right guys, we're walking to Sainsbury's now. I think I fancy some turkey and uh, some obviously some carbs, some really nice carbs. Hear that little beeping in the background, it's some kid on his push bike. I just want to really thank everyone for the support so far since we're doing these daily uploads. I mean, it feels so good to be uploading daily and like getting feedback and, and um, constructive criticism every single day on these videos. And it's just like motivation really to keep going and uploading, getting the content up and hopefully some people are following along with the plan and you know, I've sent the email out to a few people, hopefully they do stick to it and hopefully they, they do participate in it and make the gains that I'll be making through these six weeks on this plan. And it's just really, really nice. Pretty overwhelming really, seeing like, waking up and seeing 70 views on a video. I mean, some people wake up and see a thousand views on a video, but so far I'm waking up and seeing 70 views overnight. I mean, that's really, feels really good like. Feels like I'm, I'm doing what I want to do. Like I want to impact and reach out to as many people and get as many people reaching their goals as possible. And it actually seems like it's going that way. I mean, that's why I created this channel in the first place, to really reach out to people and get them on the same journey as, as I'm on, and I, as many people are as well as myself. And to be fair, I didn't have it as easy as it could have been at the start. Like, I left school in year nine um, with anxiety, depression, panic attacks, all that. Doctors wanted to put me on tablets, uh, did counselling for a while, which didn't really help me. And then, like my dad said, the only thing, the only way that you can get over something and get through something is to actually like put, do it yourself, like put yourself into it and really like just get over it yourself. You're the only person that can help yourself at the end of the day. I know other people can have an impact, but at the end of the day, you're the person that's actually gonna be helping yourself. So, Going through all of that anxiety, depression, panic attacks, all that like, I couldn't even sit in a lesson at school and now look at me like fucking shredded pump rat. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm only like a tenth of a way to where I want to be in this journey. Um, I'm watching people like Christian Guzman, Lex Fitness, all of those. So inspirational for me and obviously many of us. And it's just, it's not hard to just pick up your camera and record each day if you've got the spare time. And if you can get into the gym and record, even if it's just an iPhone. I mean, I'm lucky to have this Canon G7X. Um, I saved up for it, personal training clients. And really it's paying off for me because it's allowing me to do what I want to do. So I thought I'd just say that, yeah. Um, I might do a whole video on like my story. Um, I was really bad, like nervous, anxious. I had a lot of support from uh, family and friends. Fuck, something <laughs> And uh, I managed to get through it. And if you are anxious on that, honestly, get to the gym, pick up your camera, record, vlog it online. Don't get depressed, don't do anything stupid. You know, there's always 
There's always other things to do. There's always an answer. I remember like my mom says, everything happens for a reason. All right guys, moving on to post-workout. Just smashed all of this down. I'm actually curious how many calories are in this. Per 100 ml, 55, so 550 calories in that. That's pretty good. We are also going to eat all these bananas. I feel so flat, I need to get the carbs in. These are so low, not even ripe, but oh well. No SL's ripe bananas anyway, so. Uh, Rested vegetable couscous, 50p at Sainsbury's if you want some decent macros on that. Really high in carbs. Um, two hot chocolates for later on. One for me, one for Al. And last, we're gonna eat these. Just eat it all, smash it down. All right, right now we're gonna go outside and get some sun Alaska. What's going on guys? Just a quick little physique update before the video ends. Really in flat today, by the way, really flat. Alright guys, time to get a fucking tan. Thanks a lot for watching guys, it's 24 degrees Celsius, the sun is blazing, it has been Greg Lock Fitness. Keep happy, keep positive, subscribe for more videos. Thanks a lot for the support, 200, uh, 632 subscribers now. It's happening guys, we're building, we're reaching out to more people every single day. That's the spots that I need to get rid of man. Six days in by the way on my tablets from the doctor, so see if you can make it work, see if the skin can improve. Uh, definitely some loads and carbs and it's just making me look flat and depleted and a bit depressed. <laughs> Thanks a lot guys. Let's get the peace in the sun.